everybody to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy, gaming, and uh, we're in a bit of a pickle here. Uh, I've been doing all kinds of stuff. I got a lot of things to get you guys updated on, but uh, if you look down there in my radar, you can see that a K has sort of kind of snuck up on me. <laughs> uh, so we're currently in uh, Wretched Skies 5, and I've changed my... I've changed my mind on what I think we're going to do here. I In the last episode, I told you guys my plan was to put up a defense tower here in Heretic's End. But, excuse me, I think what might serve us better in the long run is for us to see if we can actually push the Xenon out of split space. Uh, which essentially means Wretched Skies and Family Zen in particular. And if we can successfully do that... It might make sense for us to go back to our original plan and put a defense tower on here, and that pretty much blocks um, the Xenon in, you know, to these three sectors here. Uh, plus, I think I told you guys this in the last episode, but in case I didn't, the Terran have actually taken over Getsufune and Savage Spur too, and um, they're just they're doing a really good job, which is not surprising of, you know, bringing the fight to the Xenon as well. So, um, we still would have Emperor's Pride and, you know, up here, but if we can push them back and just kind of keep them under control and not let their expansion get, you know, go crazy, then that might serve us best for, for the time being. Um, I really, really want to get a carrier, but, um, they're just too darn expensive at the moment. I mean, I, I've already outfitted a Raptor, but without any shields or any weapons uh and and without putting shields and weapons on the raptor it's still going to cost me almost 59 million just for everything else um and the reason i didn't outfit it with those things is because i want to get terran shields on it and i want to get argon uh, turrets on it so that's a little ways away from uh, away right at the moment in terms of what we can afford okay so anyway what's going on here is that I have kind of redone my fleet, and um, so I have Alpha Fleet, which is my Rattlesnake, which that's now my my command ship, um, because I, I just have to control the ship myself because of its short range. Um, so Odysseus 1 is no longer the command ship. And so I've got these guys in an attack group, the, defend, uh, the destroyers in attack group, and I've got three Corvettes and a bunch of she fighters in an intercept group however uh, this K did not bring any fighters with him so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out the Corvettes because Corvettes and frigates just don't do well against K's um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in a uh, I could put them in a defend I suppose but honestly, I don't really want them... Yeah, let's put them in the, a defense wing. Uh, but then I'm going to tell them to get to go some go away. Um, I'm going to send all of the she fighters after the destroyer. And I'm just going to tell them to attack all surface elements. Uh, because I have two special wings that I've created. I've got a chimera wing. Uh, and these guys are fitted with... Uh, three thermal disintegrators and two Gatling neutron Gatlings. Each one of them is. In fact, I was just in the process of getting that done, um, and they're they're not back with me, which is kind of a problem because I need them right now. Uh, but the reason I put the thermal disintegrators on is because those are a lot more effective against surface elements. But I left them also with two neutron Gatlings so they can still you know do normal damage too as needed. Um, and so their primary uh, role moving forward is to target engines of enemy capital ships and therefore I named the fleet as such and so what I'm going to do is I, I believe they're all ready to go it looks like they're all fitted with their new weapons uh, but they're still sitting over at the wharf um so I need to, yeah, I need to pull, I, I should have pulled them back here, but I, I've just been trying to do a whole bunch of things at once. So I, I don't think they're going to get here in time before the rest of our fleet destroys this cave, but just in case, we're going to go ahead and tell them to attack the engines. 
Um, and I only have to give the command to the fleet commander, and I have all of his subordinates on mimic. So the, theoretically, if I tell him to attack the engines, so so then should these guys. At least that's the way I think it'll work. Uh, we'll see. Um, now, I also have a second week, a wing of 20 she's, and they are also configured with uh, two thermal disintegrators and two bolt repeaters each. And their job, as the fleet name shows, is to target the turrets of the capital vessel and take the turrets out. Now, the ideal scenario is that, you know, the K is not right up in our business here and we can send these guys after them first and and do their job while the rest of the fleet then, you know, moves up on the K and then takes it out and hopefully takes its teeth out and its engines out so it can't escape. But unfortunately, uh, that's not our current scenario. Uh, so once again, though, we're going to we're going to tell them to attack the turrets anyways, but I don't think they will get there on time. And then. Here, let's um, go back to here for just a second. OK, you guys are in camera group. And I actually want to pull you away from this fight. So just go, whoops. I can't do it from the, I don't, I don't know why I can't select the group and give the whole group a command. I have to select them individually. It just doesn't make sense to me, but it's the way it seems to be. Um, So I want to pull these guys over here and just get out of the fight for now. Oh, I guess the Nemesis has some, still has some fighters attached to him. So you know what I'm going to do in that case then? Um, I'm going to actually send these back home and uh, for our home patrol. But since I have them here, let's remove their orders and assignments. We're temporary. We'll assign them, I guess, on intercept in this group. But... We'll have them also just join in the attack all surface elements. Okay, so now we're going to tell the destroyers to directly attack. Um, these guys currently have a fly in wait order, which I need to remove first. So let's remove that order and then have them do a direct attack. And then, of course, we in the Rattlesnake will do a direct attack. Okay. Joining squad. Let's do this and see how it goes. Hopefully we don't lose any ships. So it looks like the Audi is already very close in range. I have to, and of Awaiting course, orders. as the ship starts to, the K starts to go down, I got to make sure we pull the fighters away from the explosion. Awaiting orders. Pause the game. I want all of you guys to I should be able to just tell them to flee, right? Yeah. And that means they should get away. That's probably the quickest way to handle that. I don't know why the Cerberus is attacking, but it needs to not attack. Well, it doesn't matter. It's not even going to get here before the uh, this thing blows, anyways. We were hit. And there she goes. Okay. We're a little bit close. Yeah, we took a little damage on our main guns, but the drones will fix that, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, let's um. 
Let's make sure we didn't lose any ships out of that deal. I hope we didn't. Awaiting orders. Nope. Uh, so yeah, that went actually quite well. Quite well indeed. All right, so. Um, you can stop fleeing now. <laughs> um, remove all orders. So let's get our uh, these guys back with us, and I'm just gonna put them on. I'm gonna put them on bombard. Joining squad. And then what we'll probably do is we'll just remove them. Oh, but it just... Oh, that removes him as the leader of that group then, doesn't it? Okay, that isn't going to work then. Okay. Remove him. Engage it. It's just a small ship. All right, where the hell do the rest of my chimeras go to? That threw them an alpha group attack. Move all orders and assignments. Okay, so I guess I can't add the leader. Wait a minute. Let's try this again. If we if we do mimic commander's behavior. Okay. But then we tell the commander. Awaiting orders. To bombard, which is effectively what they're doing. Awaiting orders. Okay, that worked. Now they're sticking with. Uh, nope. No, it kicks up it kicks them out and puts them That is weird. Okay, so I guess we can't do it that way. Hmm. Okay. Then we'll just have to keep them in their own fleets, but just manually tell tell them to stick with us. So remove all orders and assignments. Remove all orders and assignments. Mimic commander's behavior. Okay, and then I just want you guys to come over here and be near me. Okay, so I'm assuming we're going to have to do the same thing then with target turrets. So let's just tell them also to come over here. And I'll have to, I'll have to just manually control their direction, which is fine. I mean, I'm going to be doing that really anyways. This was just more to make movement a little bit easier. Let's take a look at our... Okay, so it looks like all of our destroyers are in good shape. Orders. Uh, we have one fighter here with some damage. We have... Yeah, a couple of them took some damage, probably from the explosion. Um, so we can tell them to go over Awaiting here. Orders. Um, and... Oh, shoot. Hold on. I clicked on the wrong thing. Oh, damn it. Cut it out. Hold the mouse still. When this turns white, right click. <laughs> okay. And we'll just have these guys repair. I do want to get a support ship ASAP. Okay. Um, now... These guys, I actually want to send down south and add to our dragon patrol. Uh, which, by the way, I was in the middle of another fight. Uh, and it still looks like it's going... Well, is it going on? Maybe. I don't know. But let's grab him or her, as the case may be. No, not that one. Oh. Okay, let's tell those two 
to go get repaired. Uh, what I was doing down here is I'm trying to deal with a, a uh, pirate uh, sentinel, or phoenix rather, that was harassing one of my traders. Um, so you guys go here and get a repair. Wasn't there another one? Yeah, this must be a Nodan Sentinel or a Vanguard. Because you can't group the ships if they're not exactly the same. So we'll tell him to do a repair first. Okay. Now, let's um take a quick look. Uh, in fact, okay, hold on. i got to pause the game. Um, let's just see what's going on here. So, ooh, put all those laser towers out. <laughs> um, what the hell? There are so many things that can go wrong in this game in terms of commands and automation. It's just amazing to me. Okay, so none of those guys were told to drop laser towers. Oh, you know what happened? Uh, I know what happened. When I told these guys to escape... They used the global setting and, th and dropped some laser towers down. That's what it was. Okay. At least I understand why that happened. I'm going to need to, for these fighters, I'm going to need to change that, tell them not to drop laser towers. Because, I mean, when by the time I'm telling them to run away, it's just because the, the, cap the enemy capital ship is about ready to blow anyway. So that doesn't make sense. So I'll have to fix that later. I, I just want to make sure there's no immediate threats up here because I'm going to jump into the dragon and help with this other fight. Um, the other thing I'm going to do too is I'm going to jump in my scout ship and I'm going to start laying down some advanced satellites at key areas across the map so I can start watching the Xenon movements. I haven't gotten that far yet though. There's just a billion things to do in this game, man. It's fun though. I love it. Um, okay. So we told... Uh, didn't did we not just tell you to repair? Yeah, yeah. So those guys are on their way to repair. Okay, so let's do this. Let's uh, jump over into the dragon uh, because I don't trust the AI in an M class ship to attack a destroyer. Wait a minute. Before I do this, what's the rattlesnake's default hold position? Okay, yep, that's exactly what I want you to do. Entering system. He was twin. Okay. Now, I need to target... Oops. This guy... So I know where we're going. Right now I basically have the fighters harassing him, but also trying to take out his turrets. Sentinel. Yeah, let's go deal with him. Okay, there's 
one engine. There's another engine. Danger. We got full thermal disintegrators on this guy, so. Did we get all of his engines? Put some flares down. Now let's get his turrets next. Put some, uh, Turret still alive? Yeah. Okay. Next turret. Take out the sh shield generator, I guess. See that turret up there going after us. Not doing too much damage though. Yeah, these thermal disintegrators are awesome for taking out surface elements. They basically ignore the shield and just go right to the to the thing. Okay. Let's do keep working on surface elements here. Generators down. Is that it for? No, oh, there's one. Oh, there's a turret here. Takes care of that. Damage is getting serious. This is the main shield generator here. Oh, he does have one engine left. Okay, let's take it out. Surface elements. Yeah, there's a shield generator down there. Stop. Mercy. No mercy. Nope. The pirates are never going to learn to not attack River Industries if I gave you mercy. Ain't going to happen. We've already had this discussion. Well, not with you in particular, but <laughs> a different pirate. Missile. No, we got a missile. 
turn it looks like up here. Not anymore, we know. Okay, let's get the fighters out of here. And Vominos. Uh, Trader 7 spiders are also. Looks like we lost one of them, so we'll have to replace them. Oh, please spare us. Oh, please spare us. No. <laughs> Okay, that Always takes care works. of that issue. Um, so let's. What do we want to do? Let's go uh, back to the rattlesnake, and I want the dragon is currently uh, default is patrol in Grand Exchange Four. Oh, by the way, we have another cock infestation in Grand Exchange Four that we're gonna have to deal with too. Oh, but let's remove his default orders. Let's remove all your orders. And then they'll go back to Grand Exchange and continue patrolling. Uh, but we do need to get a few of these ships repaired. So Falcon, go repair. I still have the Falcon. This was my first fighter, you guys, that we bought, if you remember, a long time ago. Still going strong. It's, it's gone through a few different pilots, though. Okay, you are a Nodan. I want to make sure they're the same. Okay, that's a Nodan Sentinel. That's a Vanguard, so we can't send them together. That's a Vanguard. So the Sentinel, we send... separately and then the two vanguards we can send together because they're the same ship type we just say two known and vanguards repair repair add to ship confirm order okay and then um, all of these guys need to be repaired. Plus, we're going to have to replace. Um, and actually, why don't we do this? Why don't we take you... And put you in with this group. And we want to name you. We go ring name. Copy. Rename. Paste. And your fighter one. Okay. So, I think that gets us back in business. This all started when Trader 7 um, got attacked by that Phoenix. And um, and the way that I have this set up, it seems to be working reasonably well. In fact, I've, I've redone quite a bit in terms of, you know, default orders and that sort of thing. Um, so, each trader is now set to... Escape and deploy laser towers if they get attacked by an enemy, but let me know. Um, but if they're attacked by a pirate, they attack. And I've got their fighters also set to attack with the commander. 
However, whenever I get the alert, I always check them because if it, if it ends up being a destroyer, then I tell them, okay, no, don't do that. I want you to, to run away instead. Um, and then I send my uh, patrol fleet in to deal with the destroyer like we just did. Okay, so that's kind of my MO for now. I need to set you back to escape and deploy laser tower um, and attack for pirates. And yeah, it seems to be working pretty good. Um, when I, I, I was putting all the fighters on intercept, but the problem with that is then they don't do anything. They only attack fighters when they're on intercept. And what I want the fighters to do if a destroyer comes in is I want them to attack the destroyer and, you know, distract it so I can get the, you know, the trading ship away from it. So that's kind of the rationale behind there. And like I said, it seems to be working reasonably well at this point in time. I have told all my couriers to no longer notify me if they get attacked and they're just on escape and deploy laser towers. The reason for that is because um, these guys can get away like 99% of the time. I, I rarely, rarely ever lose a courier. Um, so I just don't need to know about it. It's, it's too much chatter, too much information, too much in the log. Um, let's see. Same thing for the miners. They don't notify me anymore. They just escape and deploy laser towers. Miners generally are only attacked by cock anyways. Sometimes maybe Xenon. Uh, pirates don't bother with them because pirates apparently don't have solid storage and can't, you know, store the uh, the ore. Okay, so um, my two lar large um, miners, station miners, I set them to ignore enemy attacks just because they it doesn't hurt them. <laughs> They can just completely continue mining with impunity and not even worry about it. I was having them retaliate, but then they start m messing around trying to, you know, attack these fighters instead of mining and, and you know, when they could be working kind of thing. But I do have their fighter groups set. Oh, we're going to have to repair this guy. Um, I do have their fighter groups set to intercept, so they'll deal with any fighter attacks for the large miners. <clears throat> Never don't remember a pirate ever trying to attack a large miner, so I'm not really too worried about the, that. Uh, so same thing here. Um, you need to... I don't know why you're on dock and wait. Um, resume your duties. Resume your duties. Sometimes shit happens in this game. It's like, why? Why? <laughs> um, yeah, it's just the way it works. Okay, where are you guys at, by the way? You're in the Peleos' Fortune 2, so that means you're down here. So the closest... Yeah, this will be the closest repair. So just go get yourself fixed up here. Okay, and then my station haulers, most of these are still our original, um, what, what are these ships called? Hermes Vanguards. Um, I'm not replacing them with new Hermes Vanguards when they do event, you know, when they do get blown up um, because I'm using the Cormorant now. But as long as they continue to survive, then I continue to have them work for the station. And they're set to escape and deploy laser towers and... I usually want them to notify me because they're usually in and around Grand Exchange, so that way I can send the patrol directly after what, you know, the enemy at that point. Okay, so, yeah, that kind of gets us caught up then, I guess, on some of those changes to the global orders. We are... Well, let's go here and pull that money over. So we're currently sitting at $72.3 million. Um, we're slowly building our money back up and it's coming back up more quickly now because I have 10 trader advanced traders working instead of just five. And, um, but you know, I'm trying to recoup my money because we, we spent a ton of money when we bought those four Osaka's and all, you know, that that involved. So let's talk about kind of our, our short to midterm plan here. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to keep, my main fleet hanging out here in wretched skies so the xenon cannot gain a foothold here and i'm going to go around and 
place satellites, advanced satellites in my scout at key areas across uh, across the map so that I start to, you know, have some some eyes on what's going on with the Xenon. And then our, our plan is we're going to do a push into Wretched Skies 4 and see if we can drive out the Xenon. And if that's successful, then we'll continue to press into Family Zen and try and drive them out of there. I don't even know what's going on in Crit right now. Um, it would not surprise me at all if the Xenon have already taken over this sector because I haven't been up there in a long time. So if we're, if we're fortunate, they haven't yet. And if that's the case, you know, then we can push them all the way back up to Rise Defiance. And yeah, see, there's, there isn't really any, any resources here. Uh, and then we can, you know, maybe block them in there or whatever. But the, the main goal is to try and push them back out of split space or at least, um, you know, take over these these sectors back from them and you know try and curb this invasion um and then one of you guys were telling me in the comments that if i start providing hull parts and claytronics and that sort of thing to the split they'll actually start building ships and and do a better job of protecting themselves um so i like the idea of that i don't know how well it'll work but we'll see and i think that gets get you guys updated on where we currently are and my goodness we've already gone 37 minutes just in <laughs> there's so much to do so much to do but i sure am enjoying this game so i think guys with that being said uh we're gonna probably go ahead and wrap up this episode here and i will start the next episode when we're ready to push into wretched skies 4 and uh, see how things go. All right. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.